What do you mean by a capacitive transducer? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask you guys the obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term capacitive transducers? Well, let's find out. So a capacitive transducer. Just like the name suggests, this is a type of a transducer. A transducer is a device that converts a physical quantity into an electrical signal. This electrical signal may be voltage, current or in this case it is a capacitance. So here a transducer that works according to the principle of capacitance is referred to as a capacitive transducer. Well, how is that? The main purpose of using a capacitive transducer is to measure displacement. The physical quantity that is usually measured with the help of a capacitive transducer is displacement. So for that, let us take two particular parallel plates like this. Two parallel plates are taken like this. And now let the area of cross-section of each of these plates be say A. Let them both have the same area of cross-section A. And now let the distance between these two plates be D. And now if we connect two leads like this, then we know that the capacitance between these two parallel plates is given as C is equal to A epsilon by D. D, where epsilon is the permittivity of free space and this area A is this particular overlapping area of these two plates. That is how much area is getting overlapped between these two parallel plates and D is simply but the distance between these two parallel plates. So therefore what we observe is that now here C is proportional to a by D, A by D, that is the capacitance of this particular parallel plate capacitor will change if we either change the overlapping area between these two plates or if we change the distance between these two plates. So first, let us see the case when the capacitance can be varied by changing the overlapping area like this. So here, for this, let us take a particular cylindrical plate like this. The cylindrical plate is taken and inside the cylindrical plate there is a hollow cylinder like this. And now here another moving tube of this particular dimension is taken. And now if we take two leads like this, what we observe is that now as this particular tube moves inside this particular tube like this, as it goes inside, the overlapping area will slowly increase. That is how much area of this is overlapped by this. That particular area increases as we move like this inside and now when it is completely inside the overlapping area is maximum. So therefore as this particular tube moves towards this direction the capacitance increases and when this tube moves towards this particular direction the capacitance decreases. So now let us see the same in the case of a parallel plate like this. Let us take two parallel plates like this over here and now if we take two leads like this and now let this be a fixed parallel plate and let this be a movable parallel plate. So here what we observe is that as this movable parallel plate is moved towards this particular direction the overlapping area slowly gets increased like this and at this particular position the area of overlapping is the maximum. And again, when it moves like this, slowly, 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 the area of overlapping decreases. And here, the, when it reaches here, the area of overlapping is zero. So therefore, in this case, as this movable plate moves in this particular direction, the capacitance decreases. And similarly, when this particular parallel plate moves towards this direction, the capacitance increases as the capacitance is directly proportional to the area of overlapping. So therefore, the particular displacement of this particular movable plate can be measured 
as the increase or the decrease in the capacitance that we obtain across this particular output. That is because if this particular plate is moving towards this direction, the capacitance will decrease or if this particular plate moves towards this direction, the capacitance will increase and therefore we can measure the physical quantity of displacement simply by getting or deducing the capacitance change at the output. As simple as that. Next let us see the case when the capacitance changes when the distance between the two parallel plates gets changed. So here now let us take two parallel plates like this. So here we have taken two parallel plates like this with a distance of separation D. But what we have observed is that the capacitance is inversely proportional to D. That is as the particular distance increases the capacitance will decrease. So therefore what we observe is that if this plate is a fixed plate and if this plate is a movable plate as this plate moves away from this fixed plate the distance increases and therefore as the distance increases the capacitance will decrease so therefore as this plate moves towards this particular direction the capacitance will decrease and subsequently as this particular plate moves towards this particular fixed plate the distance of separation decreases and therefore the capacitance will increase. So therefore by measuring this particular increase or decrease in the capacitance we can measure the displacement between this particular movable plate and this particular fixed plate as simple as that and thus we can simply measure the displacement of this particular movable plate like this as this plate moves towards or away from this particular fixed plate we can obtain an increase or a decrease in the capacitance between these two parallel plates as simple as that Next we have something referred to as a differential capacitor system. So in a differential capacitor system we have two parallel plate capacitors like this. Here there are three leads one two three. So here this is a parallel plate capacitor and this is a parallel plate capacitor. But this plate is common for these two parallel plate capacitors. So here we have this parallel plate capacitor and this parallel plate capacitor. But this plate is common for this particular plate and this particular plate. So here the capacitance between the plates 1 and 2 let it be C1 and the capacitance between 2 and 3 let it be C2. So here these two plates are fixed plates and this particular plate is a movable plate. So now here in this particular case let us assume that the distance between these two plates are equal. Now if the distance between these two plates are equal and is equal to D then they will both have the same capacitance that is C1 is equal to C2 is equal to A epsilon by D. But let us now assume that the plate 2 gets displaced to a particular distance x like this. Let it be displaced to a particular distance x like this over here. So now as this particular plate moves towards x the capacitance also changes. Now C1 becomes C1 is equal to A epsilon divided by D plus x as the distance between the plates changes to D plus x and similarly c2 becomes c2 is equal to a epsilon divided by d minus x as this particular distance is t minus x. So now let us apply a particular alternative voltage across the terminals 1 and 3. Let us apply an AC voltage over here across terminals 1 and 3. And now if an AC voltage is applied we get E1 which is this becomes E1 and this becomes E2. So therefore E1 is given as E1 is equal to E into C2 by C1 plus C2 where E is the value of the AC voltage that we are giving across the terminals 1 and and 3 and similarly E2 will be is equal to E2 is equal to E into C1 divided by C1 plus C2 upon simplifying this we get E into D plus X by 2D and this we get equal to E into D minus X 
by 2d this we get simply by substituting the value of c1 and c2 from these particular equations over here on substituting we get e1 is equal to e into d plus x divided by 2d and e2 is equal to e into d minus x divided by 2d so therefore now we take something referred to as the differential voltage e is equal to e1 minus c2 and now substituting e1 and e2 as these two values we get the differential voltage e into x by d so here the differential voltage ed is equal to e into x by d so x is the displacement through which this particular plate 2 undergoes to and d is the initial distance between these two parallel plates as simple as that so this thus is the basic idea behind what you refer to as a differential capacitor system as simple as that so this thus sums up what you refer to as a capacitive transducer and the types of capacitive transducers that are available as simple as that there's nothing more to it so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a capacitive transducer and if you guys found this video informative do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you